relationship started back in 2020, and uh, it was when we were we, we were testing out the the 400 gig. COVID uh, hit us, and we had to put that on on hold. But thankfully, we carried on working through COVID, through the lockdown, carried on working with Nokia, and tested out 400 gig successfully as, as as we came into the end of 2021. As well as the 400 gig, we needed to also test the EVPN interoperability because our main network, London One, uh, runs multi-vendor and part of the, the proof of concept or part of the validation was making sure Nokia can operate EVPN with other, other vendors and obviously we're here today, um, it's been successful and we carry on developing more Nokia in, in, in our networks. Nokia has been building global networks for decades. I mentioned this global aspect because our relationship with Lynx has evolved from developing a network just in London to moving to Nairobi, Kenya and to Northern Virginia with the Lynx Nova network. The relationship has evolved further by taking specific Lynx requirements and building them into the product, much like these EVP extensions to ensure the interoperability. Likewise, Lynx has enhanced their own uh, visibility in their network by incorporating Nokia's telemetry technology to get better surveillance of the Lynx network. I think we share some mutual qualities that have uh, helped us work well together. For Lynx as a membership organisation, it's, it's really important for us to understand uh, our membership, what they need, what they need from Lynx. I see the same qualities with Nokia. They work very hard to understand Lynx's business, to, to understand what we, what we need to do. Whether they're dealing with a network provider like Lynx or whether they're dealing with a web scale, they, they adjust their business and their approach to, to, re, to really connect and understand what, what, what their customer needs to do. And I, I think that's been fantastic. I think we share a mutual love of technology. Uh, I mean, Nokia at its core is a world-class research and research and development organization that builds technology for the benefits of our customer networks. The unique thing about Lynx in my opinion, is its engagement with its members. And Lynx is constantly improving the services they are providing to their members, much like offering 400 gig ethernet ports today, moving towards 800 gig in the future. Another example of this is Lynx investigating using anti-DDoS software technology through Nokia's deep field to offer a higher class of service to their members. Nokia, and specifically Nokia's Network Infrastructure Business Division are a chip company. Whether it's the Quillian chip used to power our fiber access solutions, the PSE6S DSP to power our optical solutions, or the FP5 routing silicon, we look to provide higher throughput at a lower cost per bit and lower power per bit with each generation. And that is great so long as it is consumable by our customers. And in order to be consumed by a customer like Lynx, it needs to be automatable. And we put automation into the chip foundation from day one. And the homegrown silicon that Nokia developed are going to, is going to continue to be really important for, for links and networks like us. The higher speeds, the better cost point, the lower power consumption, these are all key, key parts of what we need to do, especially in London. Links over the last five years, we've expanded into the Middle East, we've gone into Africa, and we continue to open up more IXPs around the world. And it's the manageability, the automation side of that, that Rodney mentions that there's, there's going to be key to us. We've done that expansion with very similar operational uh, team, size of teams. Uh, we continue to, to work out how we can observe, how we can monitor, and how we can automate our networks around the world. And working with partners like Nokia is the only way we're going to be successful. I've been really pleased to see how Nokia have supported us in the partnership for, for the established networks here in London for our London One network. It's been fantastic to see how Nokia have then developed uh, an offering in, in Africa and also the supporting us in, in North America, so, so that's fantastic. Thereafter, what are we going to be doing next? Well, we're already working with Nokia on the Container Lab. In fact, at Lynx 120 today, we're going to be doing a joint presentation between Lynx and Nokia on how we've adopted that automation and testing functionality that Nokia developed. Where does the partnership go in the future? Well, you know, we're, we're, we're really pleased to carry on working with Nokia. We're going to be testing out their deep field uh, DDoS service that they offer so that we can deliver that hopefully to our members. And beyond that, you know, we just, just welcome that, that partnership and working closer together as we go forward. I couldn't have said it better myself to what Richard said. We look forward to expanding the, uh, the relationship beyond London into, into these worldwide deployments like Richard was talking about. Whether it's the deployment of our latest technology, the automation or advanced services, we want to continue on with not only Lynx, but Lynx member companies from now and into the future.